G'day and welcome back to my channel. Just a quick review of Tears of Fears Tipping Point and a comparison between the Dolby Atmos on Apple Music and the Blu-ray release. Now when the Tipping Point first came out, first I released just one or two songs on Dolby Atmos but it was um, on Apple Music. So I was listening to that a fair bit and I was um, yeah, pretty impressed, pretty impressed with the quality because um, if, you, if you've seen some of my past videos on Apple Music, I haven't been that impressed with um, most of the Apple Music releases. There's been a few here and there which has been surprisingly good but um, overall I would say it's been pretty, pretty poor so far. Um, so I was very interested to hear this one because um, it had been, it's one of, the, one of the albums that have been remixed by Stephen Wilson so it should come across pretty good, and, and it has. But I couldn't help myself, and I had to go and get the official Blu-ray release. And while I was waiting for that, which took some time, I kept on listening to the Apple Music, and I thought, well, if the, um, the Blu-ray audio sounded better than this, which I can, was convinced myself that it should, it's gonna be pretty special. So, Let's go over to the Blu-ray release. So here's the Blu-ray release. Um, yeah, when I first got it, I, I put it on straight away, of course. And it had the volume at a moderate level, but I had it convinced in my own head. Oh, yes, definitely better than the Apple Apple Music, um, Apple um, Dolby Atmos, I should say. Um, without really giving the Dolby Atmos on Apple a, another try, I was just convinced that it was better. Probably because I paid a fair bit of money for it. So I listened to it uh, a few times over, and then I thought, oh, okay, I'll try it. So I switched back to Apple Music, and with the title track playing, the tipping point, there was some pretty cool overhead effects going on, especially at the start, and some pretty cool high frequency noises that um, really got the attention of my ears. Gives you that cool stereo effect plus an overhead effect as well. And I thought, oh, I didn't really get that same feeling when I went to the, uh, when I was listening to the, the Blu-ray. So I hesitantly switched back over to the Blu-ray release and I was trying to listen for that same, same effects in the height channels and also that same cool high frequency panning of the left and rights. And probably because I was concentrating a lot more, I could hear them, but they just told me, because I first picked it up on the Apple Music version, when I went back to the Apple Music version and played it again, this time with a bit more volume, yeah, those overhead effects were just a bit, bit clearer. So, I've got to say it, I've got to swallow the pride and say the Apple Apple version is slightly better than the actual Blu-ray version. Now, why, why is this? I'm pretty certain the uh, Blu-ray version's got a bit more, a bit more bass to it, but I feel that the Apple version is just just a bit clearer in the in the Dolby Atmos uh, in in the overhead effects, a bit more high frequencies. Oh man. It's a tough game, this one, to, um, to, to pick the best. But um, if I was going to give some advice, I would definitely... You really can't justify spending the big dollars for the, for the Blu-ray version. Um, if it's just the Atmos mixer after, then you really can't go wrong with the, with the Dolby Atmos on Apple Music. So, um, yeah, once again, I've got to probably swallow, swallow the pride and say... Thumbs up to Apple Music for this one. Um, done, done very well. So I think the key is with Apple Music is to look for the versions where that's where it's been recently remixed. So if there's a Blu-ray version coming out, that means it's been remixed. And um, yeah, it's going to sound good on both formats, really. I think the ones to avoid on, on Apple Music are the ones that are sort of just mix quickly just to get it out there, just to get more volume of Apple Music on, on the platform. So it's better off just waiting until the official version 
comes out and it's properly mixed and you'll get a good um, representation of Apple Music. Um, Dolby Atmos on Apple Music. So, yeah, that's whew, hard work, I tell you. But anyway, now I'm going to sit back and enjoy some Tears for Fears on Apple Music, Dolby Atmos. Catch you later.